escalating prime ministerial pressure on the state government to open the border once 80% of Queenslanders are double vaccinated. I can't see any reason why Australians should be kept from each other. And so that puts a, a, heavy, a heavy responsibility on those who would seek to prevent that from happening. But the Deputy Premier disputes whether the border was ever tied to the national plan. I know that the Prime Minister, with his constant attempts to distract from his own failures, wants to boil this down to a simple number. But it's not that simple and it's misleading people to tell them that it should be that simple. Stephen Miles says the trigger point for opening the border will depend on a range of interstate factors in terms of uh, number of cases, number of hospitalisations, number of people in ICU and number of people vaccinated. So there are more than one variable. The opposition says the Queensland government is leaving people in limbo. Uh, people are over the whole uh, blame game with Canberra. People are over the whole um, boogeyman scenario. People want confidence. They want a pathway out of the pandemic. At the core of the border dilemma here is how the state government balances keeping COVID out while getting those stranded back in and giving those who rely on the border a time frame to plan to. My car's in Queensland, my partner's in Queensland, I've got a house. I've come back to finalise the settlement of my house and to bring my autistic son back to Queensland. Leanne Lees says she's had to kennel her son's therapy dog and pay $1,000 a week for an Airbnb as she waits with her son for a border pass. I've asked how long am I going to be locked out for? Is there any lead time? They can't tell me. I said to them, do I need to find a job in Melbourne so that I can support myself because I haven't got any work? That's up to you. Vaccine supply is now plentiful in Queensland. For everything you love. And the government is ramping up its advertising to get hesitant people vaccinated. If you're anxious, that's OK. Come along and have a conversation with the clinical experts that are able to explain to you the ins and outs of the vaccine to make you have that confidence and to feel safe to get your shot. So we've really got to get the message out there that we want people to be, I want people to be vaccinated before the virus arrives. On another day of zero cases, when that might be, is anyone's guess. Stephanie Zillman, ABC News, Brisbane.